This project's the KiwiRail South Down Container Terminal Resurfacing and Regridding, undertaken between KiwiRail and Downer. The resurfacing involves 11,000 square meters of milling, paving, and line marking, all undertaken with 3D machine control. What really sets this project apart for us is the incredibly intricate design, which created a need to use 3D machine control on the milling and on the paving. So a survey has been done prior to us, us arriving here um, and what, what's happened is those, those heights that have been taken off the ground have been loaded into the computer and a model has, has been created. So what, what they want to do with that model is they want to ensure that we've got full to all of these drainage features and that they're nice and gradual for the, for the containers to sit on. So that model there is also then loaded into our, into our machine control system which it in turn follows. So we've got two total stations set up behind us uh, which are locked on to the prism on top of the miller and the prism that the surveyor is running around with on, on his pulp. So those prisms help us to understand where the machine is relatively to, to the model. They help us to understand how much we need to cut and basically where the miller needs to go. So the good thing about the Leica system is everything is, is automated. All we need to do is, is steer the machine and it will control the height of the drum and therefore our cut depth. So we're here today undertaking the paving portion of the works. So we will be laying an 80mm AC14 treatment with the help of a machine control system. And this system is pretty cool. We haven't used it in the country before on one of our pavers, so everyone's pretty excited. The system's very easy to transfer between different machine types. So in this case here, we've taken the system off the milling machine after we've done the 3D milling and put it onto the paver so that we can do all the paving. So the Leica system on the mill has already given us a really, really good surface to work to. But now that we've got it on the paver, all it is doing is essentially controlling the elevation of the speed and tidying up those really, really small tolerances, making sure that we can meet the desired surface. So the principles behind the system is that we have two robotic turtle stations here. One of them is controlling the paver itself, and the second one is used for checking behind the screed as we're paving, just to make those small little tweaks and adjustments we want to make to squeak the last one or two millimetres out of the system. The total stations send their data through to the system that's on board the paver about 10 times a second. The system then compares the position of the screed with the design and then makes all of the hydraulic adjustments directly through the paver. I'm really proud of this project. The team absolutely smashed it and produced an epic result for us and our clients. The first day of paving, we laid 1,800 tonnes of asphalt in a single shift, which really showed the level of detail and planning that went into this. We did this all using 3D machine control, which was an incredible first step for us in laying the pipework for using this technology going forward. A great result and a great win for the Downer paving team. <laughs>